forest. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now you know our place to sound the birds. Hey Siri, turn the volume down 10%. So this is a, I wouldn't say it's an impromptu live. This is a live where I am just in my studio and you are here with me and we are basically going to create some resin flowers. So I'm just waiting for my video screen to catch up so I know if I'm in focus or not or what that colour's like. Uh, but it's really an opportunity to hang and, and chat with you and, and see how you all are. So, sorry, I'm just, just amending my bits and just making sure there's no light. It's going to be shining bright in your eyes like this one. So I'm going to move that one over a little bit. I want to make sure I'm creating a nice environment for you all. Anyway, I'll hang on and see who we're going to get in here. Just making sure that this is uh, level. I don't want you falling over on me. That won't be good. And you know if it's going to go wrong, it is going to go wrong. Hi, Lee. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Just making sure you're not getting a weird angle of my nose, face or grey hair. Hope you're well. I'm going to bring this a little closer so I can see what it is. We've got Cosmic Carol. Cosmic Carol, I've posted my video for our collaboration. Um, so that's getting exciting. Bear with me, my camera is still at a funny angle and it is going to fall. I'm hoping that that's a better angle now. Is it a right angle or a wrong angle? Not sure. So we have Christina here. Welcome. We have Cosmic Carol. Wonderful. We have Paulette. Wonderful. We have Alpha. Welcome. Uh, we have Fiona. Uh, all the way from Australia, <laughs> welcome. We have uh, Christy with a K, and we have Milady here. We have uh, Ta Tasha, I said that right, haven't I? So welcome everybody. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. Um, I have been working hard behind the scenes to get my groove on. We all know that there's been lockdown throughout the world and business is somewhat returned to normal. So then you start to think, well, how do I fix creating, editing, getting my content out to you all and go back to work um, and be amazing there. So I had a week off and I spent this time catching up. So I've now got back my two week threshold, which is, whoo, it takes the pressure off, but it meant that I've not been able to attend other people's lives like uh, the crafting nook. So apologies. I've not really been able to hang out much with you all. Again, so apologies, but my head's been focused. I saw my family. And now I've just been getting on with all these different projects. And I'm super excited because uh, you should see that I'm starting to get my premieres well in advance or at least two weeks in advance. There will be little videos in between them, but any big ones will be at that time. So that's where I've been up to. What have you all been up to? Uh, so we've got CC here. Uh, that's okay. You're working on your geode. You've got a craft fair to get ready for or, or a stall. I don't know you said craft fair or stall or uh, wherever it is, but you keep working. Uh, I hope my lady is doing well uh, and is not ironing today and she is uh, had a relaxing weekend. So, Miss Paula, I hope you're okay. Now, behind me, this is um, resin, standard resin that I use. I did it four hours ago. It's still a little bit tacky to touch, but we should be able to still cut around here and I'm going to show you what I've created. So, these are the colours very similar to, you know me, I have a little crush. If I see some colours I enjoy, I continue to work with them for a little while and, and then I go into a new cycle. But we're gonna make some flowers out of these. Now these are gonna be flowers that can be stood in a vase. Look at that, that was supposed to be a red, but it looks like an orange, but it's still bright. Now, this is not the same as what I put uh, on my vase, I'm just checking out, isn't it? It's just a very thick cellophane. Now, in theory, when that gets dried correctly, you should be able to pull that off. But I am going to cut around these and use them uh, as they are. So I did some pre-work. I did my homework. I'm just going to see what everybody else has been up to. Um, not a lot. You're all uh, in, talking to yourself. So what I've got at the side of me here is... This is my big, I'm getting my bells going. This is the big glass vase. The only reason I've got that is I've got one of those foam blocks that goes in there and I will pull it in focus if we need to. Uh, and it's just so that as I start to sculpt 
my flowers on this that I'm not going to be all fingers and thumbs because it's going to be a little bit tacky still but they'll go on there and if I need to change my camera angle I will but I'm hoping that if I'm working on it here yeah there you go you should be able to see it now these are what somebody recommended when I did the flowers before now they bend into different directions so that's going to be cool and they are green already and apparently these are proper florist ones or what when people are making dry flower and this is what I love about the art community on YouTube people share knowledge wisdom tips and I take them on board and I'm really thankful for anybody that shares anything so we're going to be doing that so I've got to start cutting around these just need to make sure that I'm because they're a little bit tacky still but I promise I'm not going to get in too much of a gooey mess but it's going to be perfect even if I don't get them all done with you tonight you'll see my process and what I'm doing and we're going to cut around these and then we're going to sculpt them directly onto these green little flower stands here I'm hoping that even though they're very thin and the bend that they will take the weight of the resin but before we get on with that I'm going to see if there's any comments and see what everybody else has been up to oh we have Alison Alison are you back from your family Pearl oh you're new to my channel yay uh, I hope that you uh, um use this time to ask me questions or anybody in chat they would love to help share their wisdom or if there's anything you need to know this is really a relaxed Sunday evening hangout session. After this, I'm going to go in the hot tub with Neil and then maybe watch a movie because I've got to go back to work tomorrow. It's like going back to school when you're all packed and, and, and going back. So early night for Sharon. <laughs> uh, would like to purchase purple ones. <laughs> Paula, you always want to purchase purple stuff, my lovely. Let's, oh, you mean the... No, you, you've already got the purple one. Are you talking about the pink one or are you talking about the purple ones that's going to be here? Anyway, I am going to slowly but surely cut around these. So because we... I, I, I don't know if this is a purple one. And apologies, I've got my back here at the minute, but I am going to turn around. I'm just cutting around my colour scheme. Now, with these flowers, you could mix and match the petal colours if you want. And you could have like rainbow colour flowers. I mean, these are your forever flowers. You can make them whatever you want to be. Sorry, I will stop being rude soon and turn. I wonder if I should have my camera forward while I'm cutting around these. All right, so they stick like this. Hopefully we'll keep the iridescent back, which I quite like from the other ones. And this is a great opportunity for me to not stick my eye out with that green thing and shove it out the way. So you're gonna try and help me with Lingo Bingo tonight? You're going to try and tell me if I do any filler words, which I'm trying not to do filler words. But I would love to know, um, what did you think to the recent video that's out there? So all I'm doing is literally cutting around here. Now, if you feel it will add value, let me know and I will, you can either see my face or I can um, put you in closely to what I'm cutting around. But then I'm going to keep yo-yoing it up and down when it's time to, um, oh, I did it, um, fill a word, lingo bingo, <laughs> when it's time to sculpt them. So I wonder if I, so once you go it off a little bit, now because this is, when I say tacky to touch, if I was to put my finger in it, it would not come off on my finger, but it would would leave an imprint now in an ideal world you might want to wait um, an extra maybe half hour to an hour and that would be okay and she says I've got a little bit coming off on my finger I think what I might have to do is put gloves on so I am going to have to handle this with care but I am going to bend one of my green things here and I'm going to sculpt it one leaf at a time or one petal at a time it's like patting my head and rubbing my tummy i'm hoping that's in view now your iridescent is going to be on the outside i'm going to bring it down a little bit and twist it that way because i really don't want to poke myself in the eye and i'm hoping that you're going to get to see this if not i'll bring the camera in closer i'm going to put that up about an inch in there and I am, oh, do you know what, it's so good having this green thing for him to go into. 
and I'm going to slowly twist that around until I'm happy and then I'm going to really squeeze it together on that green thing. I'm breathing heavy. Now, was that camera angle okay or do you want to be closer to this? Because this is all about pleasuring you all this evening. Oh, it's so handy having it stuck in this, uh, what is it called? A, I don't know, a green brick for your flowers. Let me just have a little look. So we've got Juliet that's just joined us. Morning, Miss Juliet, all the way from Australia. Hope that you're okay. Can you peel it off, Alpha? Yes, you can, depending, oh, it's coming undone. Oh. Yes, you can, if that's what you want but I want to keep this nice iridescent look on these. Now I will, once I've finished it, put a masking tape around it to stop it unfolding. And when I apply the second leaf, that will stop it unfolding as well. So I'm gonna keep moving and, and going on, but I know that I've got wonderful members there that will answer. I did got, um, you did one, all righty. <laughs> Damn it, have I really said all righty already? Damn it. Anyway, oh, there's a filler word, isn't it? Anyway, mm. <laughs> but I'm sure there's any members that will answer your questions. Now, when your resin is not 100%, not 100% cured, what am I trying to say? Because it is curing, but still a little bit tacky, it's not going to pull away from this. If when it is slightly more cured, it should pull away on the thinner pieces. Now this is a thicker piece, but I'm cutting it more or less right around it because I am just wanting to create, hopefully, some lush flowers with a little bit of character and also that iridescent I feel adds value. So I'm only touching the back. Now, if your resin's tacky like me, I'd recommend that you have alcohol wipes nearby or you put gloves on because uh, you don't want any of that resin really staying on your skin let's have a little look there oasis oh is that what it's called an oasis see this is why i have the amazing paula uh anything else uh not a lot but hopefully that thumbs up from alpha we answered the question but hopefully you are seeing this i'm just wondering do you, are you happy with that camera angle do you want me to change it so it's closer to the resin or do you like seeing my face as i'm doing it even though my hair's not done today <laughs> last time i did this i did one flower and if you remember i got myself in a tacky tacky mess and i almost threw it all in the bin and just walked away but i persevered and we got one and the reason I nearly walked away is because it's a resin I am not used to working with so I didn't know the time whereas this one is one of my go-to's or old faithfuls now the little bits that I cut off I keep them and I use them for either leveling stuff or cut them up into little bits so you can add them into projects this one doesn't have a back on it so it's not one that would stick to a window or anything like the one that I discovered as a happy little accident on my sculpture <laughs> I should lift it a bit higher so you can see what I'm doing now if you were to leave this too near them being fully cured you wouldn't be able to sculpt as easy so that's another trade-off that you're looking at now I try to overlap oh I don't want it like that though overlap a little bit just so that it gives you say oh look at that sticky I put glove. an organic look so I'm just cleaning as I go so I don't keep anything on my fingers and um, if it was a little bit more tacky I'm just gonna squeeze it together because I didn't want it too wide there but it's quite nice quite open let me see what you think to the can handle it is good uh, I have you on my big screen, so it's good for me. <laughs> Yvonne, yes, you're all happy with it. Hey there, Yvonne, welcome. Hello, Miss Deborah. 
How did your market stall go? Not market stall, your craft stall. Sorry, I am not the best with the words today. I am just getting a little bit of the tacky resin off me. All right. Oh, lingo bingo. All right. This girl is on fire. I was going to say talking about songs, but I'm not really talking about songs. I went back and discovered a few people that I've not listened to in a while. So that's not discovering, that's rediscovering. My Neil was listening to uh, some musicals in the background, just music. And there was somebody else who was doing a cover of the one I associate with, Elaine Page, wasn't it good? Oh, so good. Oh my God. So I had that playing a little bit today and I didn't realise how many of her songs I actually knew and was singing along to. I like a good musical and a sing song. Do you? Oh, I just rambled for a little while there. Sorry. If I'd have thought on, I could have started this a little bit earlier and I would have been more prepared for this. All right, so that's all I'm going to do at the front. Now I'm going to build the ones up at the back. Two at the back just to bolster that up. Now you can really tweak these. Oh, it's out of view a little bit there, isn't it? Let me angle you down just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. Sorry, I hope I don't drop you. Avert your eyes if you have motion sickness. Sorry, I'm just peeling off. If ever resin touched me, I'm just peeling it off. All right, two more petals to go there and maybe bolster them out there. And I think that that's a vi violet. No, no, that's magenta. That's magenta. So that's an old one that I've worked with before. My good faithful magenta. Um, very pretty so far. Oh, thank you, CCC. Oh, you're there this Wednesday. Well, I wish you uh, all the uh, happy selling. Um, Deborah, if uh, you're not aware, is an amazing artist, local to me. Only just started on YouTube, which is a really good way for me to remind people, you know that we love to share the love in our little community. So if you are somebody that has your own YouTube channel, and you want people to maybe visit and see if it's their kind of art and that they want to subscribe. If you put a little heart after your name, P put some gloves off. I will. I'll put some gloves off. But I've got a feeling I'm going to get in a sticky mess though if I do, Paula. But I'm going to try, I'll, I'll do it. I'll keep you happy. I'll just do this one. But put a lo love heart after your name if you... Oh, I'm getting in a sticky mess with my scissors now. If you have a YouTube channel, and that way people are either in here today or people that watch it on Backplay can go over and, and show some support and show some love if they are interested in your work. I think that there is enough space in the art community for us to all support each other, but... That's squirting out a little bit too much of the bottom, so I am going to put some gloves on there because that's the third time it's touched my hand. Bear with me. I just hope I don't pull my uh, um, light over. All right, I've got to look for smaller gloves so that I'm not going to lose them. Oh, everything's crashing down. There we go. All right, let's see if that's going to be a bit better. Oh, they're quite tight. So maybe I can go in with it. The other blue ones, not so much. Already subbed to you, Deborah. Deborah, just subscribe. Oh, look at that. Sharing the love, sharing the love. I've got my gloves on. I'm ready. I'm just having a sip of tea. I still will have to handle this very carefully, though, because the resin is just going to stick to everything. I think I want another, I could have done with another two really to balance that out. Now I only mixed up 200 mils worth of resin 
This particular one is Elikem, which is the Mastercast. And I mixed it up for 15 minutes, added my colour. And each one's got a little bit of sparkle in there. And then just poured it into little dots. Now I am going to do a video of the process um, that I did before this. And then I'll add a little bit of this to it. So at least people will understand what I did to get to this point, if you are interested. Alright, oh, I didn't want that to splat there too much. I got my fingerprint in that one. Good job these are going to be for me. Alright, voila. I'll show you now what that one looks like and I'm going to put some masking tape in there. So hold it up to you. So that's going to have a nice iridescent look to it. Uh, on the video that I'll create for this, of what I did before, I'll also put leaves on there and I'll show you how I attach them. Now I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of masking tape around that. And that shouldn't droop or anything like that. You can twist your petals a little bit if you want. I'm quite happy with that. So a little bit of masking tape off my wall. So for people that don't believe me or have not seen many of my videos. Oh, that's drooping now, isn't it? I have a little wall. I'm just going to put you to one side here. That is of my masking tape that I use over and over and over again until there's no stickiness left on it or until I've got a wall there. See I'm wondering if I should angle it better for you again. Sorry just gonna get I'm apologizing a lot today aren't I? All right I want to put some masking tape around that just to make sure it's not going to fall off. This is where my gloves are not going to be friendly for me. And you want to pull it quite. <laughs> you want to pull it quite tight around the bottom area. Ah, oh, far out! I'm getting in a sticky mess. If I say far out, that's me trying not to swear on live <laughs> video. But resin, sometimes I hate it. I hate it with a passion. When I get into a sticky mess, it takes me all my energy not to just say right, sod it. <laughs> You and me ain't doing any more business together, resin. I'm just gonna twist those back a little bit. Try and get some shape. So in about an hour, when it's not as tacky, I can come back and shape that a little bit and I'd add a little bit of masking tape to it just to get a kind of look. I'll put this to one side that's come off there and keep it. But before I go on to anything else, let me see what people are saying. Yes, everybody remember to thumbs up. That would be amazing. That's okay, Kat. You are just the right time. You are not late. Where's the other flower you made? The one last time I did it? Are you talking about this one? You're talking about the one that I nearly chucked out because I got so sticky. Uh, Pearl, no, I'm going to make myself a tiny little bouquet of flowers. So when this sets and I sculpt them, I'm going to come in and then add green leaves from resin. And then I'll go to the woodland and I will click some branches or twigs that's fallen down and spray paint them gold. And then I'll stick them in there and they feel like your forever flowers. So because these are transparent, these are going to look beautiful. But that one's coming apart a little bit there. So I'm just going to have to tweak it. Whatever happened there, I didn't like it. It started to come to bits. I don't know if you can see it there. It started to fall a little bit there. So I'm just going to try... To rescue that but it's no uh, it's also falling down a little bit so I'm just pulling it out sorry I know you can't see what I'm doing <laughs> you're just hearing me moan it's falling down the stick a little bit so I'm just trying to push it up just to salvage it because it is like treacle but you can't lay it flat otherwise it will close together and I've also got to make sure my masking tape is not 
on the inside otherwise I will never be able to get that out again but for the first one not too bad so I just had to rescue that I'm just going to pop that in to the center and I'll come back to that in a little bit and see what was going on there see if I can rescue it with the other one the idea can't wait to see <laughs> Um, I do have a video already out of it, um, not this particular one, Ooh, she's falling over stuff. So in my back catalogue there is me creating another one. I'm going to come and have a look what this red's like because to me it's definitely an orange. By the time I get to the end batch, it's probably going to be perfect for sculpting. So, yeah, you just have to keep your eye on them and see how you are. So I'm going to work on this one now. And I'm going to keep my eye on that one because if they keep melting like that one is there, it's not really going to be great. So it's just going to be like a rock that keeps pulling apart. So I'm just going to just try and put a bit more tape around there because I can see what's happening with one of it trying to come apart and that's the downside if it's not quite not quite ready for you to do what you need to do so it's not the same as a little sculpture unfortunately where you can put scaffolding to hold it ah, just getting in a sticky mess <laughs> Um, other flowers are you talking about the ones that I did in the dishes the one like the one that you've got Paula uh, Sharon have you done these with glow in the dark mica no I haven't um, I haven't that could be something that I could uh, give it a go up for you all if you're interested so I'm just going to put around this again. Now, if on this particular one, I still start to see it pulling like that, I might have to leave it. So I'm just trying to find space for it uh, for a little while because I don't want to waste, waste this resin and I don't want to waste these flowers because I've got a nice place in my house that they're going to be, but I'm just waiting for Paula to respond uh, on sticks. Oh, you want to see the one I did originally? Is that what you're talking about, Paula? All right, let me let me go downstairs and bring you the ones that I've done already. Uh, bear with me they're not close to hand so you'll have to amuse yourself but it's going to look really boring to anybody that just pops in now and <laughs> where is she she's gone for a sleep So here she is, she's back, she's back. This is in view, so this is, oh, it's not, it's not in view. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I created it in a vase, so I did the acrylic fluid on there, then I blinged it up, and then I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these, but created my own vase of flowers that I love because they bring so much brightness and happiness. They're on my cabinet in the dining room. And it's the first one I've done, but I really like the concept of doing these. And I did the leaves and everything. And just trying to work out, whoop, 
how they how they go. Now with those ones, they were definitely a lot harder when I first went to sculpt them. So that might be being the problem. But yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm looking at doing another one. I'll take those downstairs later. I don't want to be missing without ac in action twice. But it got me more steps up. Yes, yeah, so that's roughly what we're going to try and achieve here. Yeah, intermission. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i hope that gave you an idea who was asking about the potential with them <sighs> it is worth waiting i mean you might want to come in and come out or see them later but they can look pretty um i think for me it's just i wish i'd done the mixing up half an hour an hour earlier than i did but yeah, I had to do a rough calculation that four hours that they'd be ready for me to work on. If I'd have done them too early, I wouldn't have been able to bend them. Um, and that's the downside when you're doing a live. But a lot of the time when I'm doing lives, it's really an opportunity for you to ask questions or to have a little look into my creative space and what I'm working on. And hopefully, build a community with you all and also <laughs> the reality of working with Rezzy sometimes it frustrates me <laughs> does anybody else get into a sticky mess with Rezzy I'd love to know that talking about i can't who, who can i don't know i've missed the chat i'm gonna have to watch it i do i do read over the chat later so um i will catch up and i'm doing filler words again people i apologize okay i think what i need to do is go with my smaller ones first so i'm still cutting but i'm here to ask oh i got love hearts Yeah, you've got to, with resin, not one day is the same. The process is the same um, for me, for most, but the timings is totally different. It's like with this, I'm thinking, right, tonight I really want to do some flowers with you all. I know roughly what time I need to do, but even then, because it's cooled off as the day's gone on, it could have just done with that half an hour to an hour more. But I'm not going to keep you here uh, forever doing this there will be a follow-up videos of the ones that i don't get to do with you tonight so you will see the process again in its entirety and i'll share it with you the uh, and because I, I made a date with my neil to go in the spa so i am on a time frame i know it's really boring you're watching me cut scissors <laughs> I know how to razzle dazzle you on a Sunday evening. I'm just helping you chill out. Alright. Oh, lingo bingo. I'm going to try and hold this in my hand a little bit. And I'm going to try and push it in a little bit more. So I'm going to be a bit ruthless. So I'm going to actually roll it this time and see if that was the source of my problem with the other one. So I am rolling it. Oh, you're not going to be able to see this. I'm rolling. Just trust me, I'm rolling it. <laughs> I'm probably pulling some really weird faces. All right, because it was the middle one that was starting to come loose. All right, so that is a lot tighter than the other middle one. And I've got another one straight away. That I'll be able to slap on there. And that's going to cover... the crease of the other one so I've just lowered it slightly okay that's responding a lot better than the other and it probably helps though that I've got my gloves on thank you Paula <laughs> so that it doesn't matter if the resin really touches this and the way I find it is if you just criss over so you got that one there now Stop saying that. Uh, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, 
<laughs> All right. I, oh, lingo bingo. So that petal now is going to cross over where the other end is to try and support it. And I'm going to slightly try to keep it out a little bit. If you did find that your resin starts to fold in on itself, you can always put some of those pieces of cellophane in there that you know that's going to come off. I think, I think that's going to be in control enough now for me to add different petals and it not come apart like this gooey mess is there. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those donkeys rolling. What? Oh yeah, I do. My, my gloves are not too bad at the minute. If we're talking about the resin sticking to it. Anyway, what projects are you all working on? I'd love to know. Pop that in chat. This is like, this is where I need uh, my lady to be here cutting this and passing them there. Right, I've got four more petals to go across this. So I'm just going to take it off my hands while I'm sculpting because I find that I've got better control and then stick it in there when it's done. All right, so crossing over again and pushing, pushing it so it's a bit firm and start to get some, hopefully, little nice organic looking petals. I think as time's going, it definitely is getting easier and easier with each petal. So that's where we are currently. So three more to slap on. Our collaboration almost done Wayne. oh yeah so in case you're not aware me and the amazing cosmic carol are doing a collaboration our scope is resin it can be mixed media and the brief is just fantasy and they are being premiered on the 3rd of September, what day is that? I don't know, but it's the 3rd of September. I think it's, is it a Friday night? I think it is. Uh, so mine will be premiered at 8.30 and then uh, Carol's will be, I believe 9.30, is that right? And I'm so excited to share with you um, the video and I can't wait to see what Carol has created. Now you can see a little bit of what I've created, but you can't see how I created it and the little surprise in there uh, on my on my thumbnail but it would be lovely to hang out with you and chat and then you've got an opportunity to ask any questions and you'll be able to see the little bit of a surprise that I've got in, got in there there's something different that I've not done in any of my art before so yeah good morning Stacy. how are you oh, I keep forgetting to showcase you there you go that's how that one's coming along now that is definitely an orange looking one to me, not red. So they're all transparent colours, which I think adds to the beauty of some of these flowers as well, because depending on what's behind them or if they're in the windowsill, the daylight, sunlight coming through, but also this iridescent film that's stuck to the back of it. It's beautiful. I also had a little um, dew drop on there, which is a little bit of bling. Anyway, look, it looks orange in front of me. It definitely is not a, unless it's like a blood, blood, blood orange red. All right, I got another petal free, so I'm going to slap this one to the side here, and then. We'll slap one to the other side there and that one's coming together lovely 
in my opinion. That other end will go to the other side and just balance that out. And then we're going to move on to flower free. I might get a little bit more efficient at this now. It's uh, getting less tacky. Because you know what? I think we need to be uh, having a little chat about uh, musicals. I want to know what is your favourite musical and by the way Neil's just told me that at the Mayflower near us Grease the Musical is on. We're going to book tickets and go and see it in November. Go to love myself a little bit of Grease but what is your favourite musical of all times and why? Over to you people while I attach my final flower. Sometimes the petals just fall beautifully on their own. So last thing I need to do there is just add a little bit of masking tape. Stop it hopefully falling down the pole. Now I can attach my masking tape properly. Oh, I can stop it sticking to my gloves. This is where you see the hate of resin in my eyes. And then I'm going to read what musicals are your favourite musical. pushing that down on that stick just to help it but that's that one done oop it spun a little bit quick there didn't it Ooh. all right that's number two done so i'll push that one out of the way now and i'm gonna have a little look at chat all right so love the apron sharon yep it's a prototype uh, but it's <laughs> That's me sticking boobs up at you. But thank you. Grease, Grease 2. Do you know what? Grease 2, I feel, is the most underrated musical. I used to sit and watch Grease 1 and Grease 2 with my sister on repeat. And do you know what? I'll be your girl for all season. All the week, all the year through. Um... <laughs> uh, Hamilton. I've still not seen Hamilton yet. People keep telling me to have a little look at that. Pearl is new to resin. So what have you done, Pearl, with resin? We would love to share as much wisdom as we can. The best way of learning with resin is playing, but starting small and work your way big. I'm going to use this one now. That's a lovely transparent one. That's one of those, um, in certain lights it looks a little bit purple and in other ones it looks a little bit pearl. Pearl, pearl, pearl. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just got to play around with it. Wizard of Oz, oh. I do, Wizard of Oz reminds me of Christmas. We'd always go down to Nanan and Grandad's and we'd have a big Christmas dinner and then after Christmas dinner, Wizard of Oz used to be the, always the same movie that had come on at Christmas. And I remember watching it, so it bring, gives me such good memories of um, Christmas has gone past and all the family members that unfortunately are no longer with us. But it is a beautiful, beautiful movie. I, I'm torn between Grease 1 and 2, uh, but also Rocky Horror Picture Show. I just love it absolutely love it it's a bit um but a bit unusual like me but fun doesn't take itself too seriously saw it live as well brilliant uh what else have we got in there so we've got hamilton uh london visiting daughter hamilton <laughs> shamalot with a hoot Oh, Grease the Album, Wizard of Oz, Thanksgiving, okay. Oh, American show in America, it's shown in November, okay. Uh, the quick Pink Ladies Pledge is to act cool, to look cool and to be cool. So think pink. I think one of my favourite songs on Grease 1 
is there are worse things I'm not going to sing I could do than go with a boy or two even though the neighborhood thinks I'm trashy oh hello I love them all who am I kidding I don't know if you can see that pearlescent one there but it's a stunning color and that iridescent really does bring it out oh I nearly laid it down then a rookie mistake is that first one holding together it's like melted rock that one but the other ones are holding together so we're just a bit quick off the off the mark with the other one i should have kept you all chatting a little bit so whoever's hanging here with me thank you so much for being here cool rider yeah a cool 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 rider i want to see o o l r i d e r <laughs> so many great songs i while i was editing i've watched all of uh the twilight films because i've watched them so many times i can just have it playing in the background as though it's a a story being told and not watching the clip 50 shades of gray <laughs> watch that and this morning it was um uh oh come on you can remember it sharon dirty dancing Took me a while to find that name. All right, overlapping. Might have a little twist coming out there. I go with what the resin's trying to tell me it wants to do. I really like that colour. They're all resinate pigments. No, I am not affiliated with them. No, they do not send me them for free. It all comes out of my pocket, but they are a beautiful um, pigment. And I've recently been slowly building up my collection. Absolutely love them. Well, hello. Are you? Have you been missing me, Charlie? I'll be coming and... Uh, to work tomorrow hope i get to see ya you want the purple one and the stick please the purple one that i did as a mock-up one um the other other month when i nearly got very sticky with it i have well i can't wait can't wait to see you tomorrow all right you're just going to slap it covering up it's hard because I don't want to fold that curve over but you get some intricacy in there slowly coming together I'm making some never-ending flowers forever flowers not never-ending oh never-ending story does that even ring the bell with anybody I remember watching that as a kid Oh, Oklahoma. Do you know what? I used to love Seven Brides for... I love all the old musicals. What, what am I saying? But Calamity Jane. Love Calamity Jane. There's so many um, old movies that just take you away to somewhere where it's obviously make-believe land. <laughs> obviously. But just takes you to a place where I feel all warm and cosy. And I love some of the black and white movies. And I think the reason being, I just enjoy them. But they always remind me if I was too ill to be at school, which wasn't that often, and mum was looking after me, you'd lay on the couch downstairs with a blanket on and she'd look after you and bring you food and drinks. And uh, I'd watch the black and white movies, the matinees. And they always had a beautiful feel to them as well. This is quite a closed up flower so far, but I like it. Tight is good sometimes. All right, what's been going on in chat? So we have Lainey here, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You've got that song in my head. <laughs> Which song you got in your head? <laughs> I'll try and put another one in your head. I am safe and well. I've had a really great week. I'm very relaxed. 
it's my last evening off before I'm back to work so this one's going to be a short one and then I'm going to get in that hot tub and then have an early night I think watching a movie make sure my bag's packed for work oh it's firming up beautifully now but now I'm panicking that I'm not going to get them all uh, cut round while they're still moving easily enough never ending story a never ending story <laughs> i'm such a bad singer was that lamar was it kajagoogo or was it lamar himself that sang that one there's a movie i want to watch that i don't know is even out there that's okay you go oh you you definitely take that call from your hubby from spain um is what was i gonna say Oh yeah, a movie that I, I remember watching as a kid and I've never been able to see it again, Flash Gordon. Uh, but the the one where it's got, I think the Queen song in that, where it's Flash, ah, she saved every one of us. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's in my head now. Bye, Deborah, keep, look after yourself. Thanks for dropping by. I want to know though, Flash Gordon. Does anybody know the particular movie I'm talking about? Now, Neil said it was a really naff movie, but I remember as a kid thinking it was a great movie. I think it's because I had a crush on the uh, actor with his blonde hair. I remember that. And I remember the song from, um, I believe, Queen on there. <laughs> Hello, Gloria. <laughs> Alrighty, lingo bingo. She's coming in for another, another petal there. I need something at the back there, but it's still pretty. Is my orange one holding up? Yeah, the orange one's holding up. The red one, not so much. We'll, we'll hide that one because it needs a facelift, but you can't see that one now. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit. I'm going to drop you down a little bit. Sorry. Move you, avert your eyes if you're sensitive to motion. Oh, that'd be a little bit too far. You might not get my face now, but that might be a... Oh, yeah, Flash Gordon, 1980. I just, I've never seen it on anything. And maybe it's because it's such a crap movie that they've stopped releasing it, but... Yeah, just for some reason it's a movie that I think I'd love to see it again to see if it's still as magical in my head as what I thought because I would have been nine years old then uh, and I'll probably watch it and go oh oh dear look at those special effects but he saved every one of us do, do, do. too many out there to count hello Christy That looks more correct, Paula Pascon. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm using so many filler words. But that's all right. Because Flash, he saved every one of us. Do, do. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, there you go. That's where that one belongs. I was saying I'm not too sure where I want that one, but I think I want it there. Just hope it's going to stick all right. I think that's it for this one. So we get the old masking tape in then to, to hold it in place. Our little bit of uh, constructive work. Con constructive work. A little bit of scaffolding. All right. Oh my gosh. Lingo bingo people. You're supposed to be helping me stop saying these stupid filler words. You were 14 when it came out because it was crap. <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> yeah, Lamar. Oh, I had a crush on Lamar. I really did. I thought he was going to discover me and marry me. But I think he was too shy to shy. Hush, hush. I do I. I had a crush on lots of uh, singers. I really did believe my fantasies that somebody was going to find me and marry me from, uh, you know, fame. It didn't happen. 
all right oh we did all right you all right with me people hairspray i did i did like watching hairspray oh 17 oh no i've not said all right 17 but you were 17 hairspray was great yes love hairspray <laughs> All right, I'm going in with a blue. I'm going for a blue flower. And we can, because I said we can't remember, we might end up making two blue ones. I'm just gonna chop some bits off while I'm here, just to make it easier, because I'm getting a lot of crap standing around my camera stand, so it's only a matter of time before you fall over on me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're making it quite entertaining considering that all I'm doing is cutting a lot of stuff while you're here. But at least you might be able to see me cutting stuff now. <laughs> we're in view. <laughs> Starsky and Notch. I remember a bit of Starsky and Notch, but I think I was a little bit too young. But I remember Chip. Chips? Were they the bikes? Starsky and Notch were the car. Chips, I believe, were the motorbike. I think. And were they around the time as TJ Hooker or was he later? I think he was later, TJ Hooker. Oh, he just make me laugh. He could run across a very high wall at the same speed as a car and jump off that wall and get the criminals in the car. I mean, he was, he was like a superhero. And then there was Knight Rider. And what about the helicopter? That was a hawk, hawk, hawk. No, it wasn't Hawkeye. Was it Hawk? What was it? There's a helicopter one. Sorry, I keep going out the way. Bionic Man. I'm rolling. You can work out who Sean Cassidy is. Knight Rider. Yeah, but what was the what was the helicopter one? I keep thinking Hawk. Hawk. It can't be Hawkeye. I think it's got some Hawk in there. But there was a helicopter one as well, and it was like a Knight Rider, or it was at the same time as Knight Rider, and it was dark and it had all these special special powers. We are telling our age. So the helicopter was slightly later. I wonder what ever happened to Kit. Airworthy. Hardy boy, don't know about that one. Airwolf. Ah, oh, Lee, brilliant. I remember that. My younger brother was obsessed with that. Airwolf. See, they've not even come back round with any of them, have they? We don't see a modern day Knight Rider or Airwolf. Maybe they've decided once was enough. Alright, I'm twisting my blue flower. Squish a little bit together. I think that's my meal trying to tell me that it's time to uh, get in that spa. <sighs> oh my God, Dee Dee, you've got a hurricane coming your way. Oh, I hope you're safe. Oh. Oh my gosh, well I'm hoping that we are distracting you a little bit and that you're engaging in this conversation. Uh, I hope you're all going to be safe and well, whether it's facing some of that bad weather out there. Sending you positive, uh, positive vibes that way. Oh, is it, is it normal for you to get hurricanes where you live? Is it that season? Not the. This flower's becoming a little bit flat. I need to give it some body now. 
It's like, maybe we call it a bud. I've been working my way through Vikings uh, with Neil. We're on our, the final season, I think. Our final, or latest season. I don't know if it's finished yet. That's the TV show I'm watching currently. But I am going back through Revenge and Grey's Anatomy. Not very often I get a chance to watch them, but while I've been editing, I've been having them just playing away episode after episode. Won't get away without downstairs with Neil. Yeah. Oh. Love me some greys. I'm just, where am I at? I'm on season four. I literally have only past couple of weeks got back into it. Because when I moved over from Australia to here, I missed some seasons and I've not revisited them. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to start from the beginning again. And I still love it. All right. So this one's going a bit too long. I don't know what I'm doing with this one. I'm going to have to bring some hopefully bigger petals in there to make it not look like a weird thing. <laughs> I think I'll push it up a bit. Oh, that's not a spider in my hair. So what was tickling me? Dangling off the ceiling. You know me and spiders. Do we have Wonders Blessed Creations in here? Oh my wonder, I'm sending you some love, my beautiful. Thank you so much for your prayers that you do for people out there. But also thank you for putting a smile on my dial whenever I go into your channel. Uh, and thank you for mi my lady, Miss P.S., uh, for directing me to your amazing channel. So again, just time to share some love with everybody. I uh, hope everybody's safe that's facing the hurricanes out there. Hope wherever you are in the world, you're safe and well. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me while I cut around petal by petal and create some resin flowers. <laughs> it's very boring for you, I know. But I am enjoy en enjoying um, the conversation that we're all having. And I am enjoying reminiscing you know what? I don't think that's going to work. I think I'm going to have to see if I can pull it to part. Maybe I can't. Maybe I've just got to be stuck with this dud one and then I'll create another one because I really am not enjoying. We'll call that like a little a little bud one. <laughs> it's my planet. My flowers can look like whatever they want to look like. <laughs> we can't win them all. But also... Uh, you are welcome, my lovely wonder. What I would like you to do, though, is if you have a channel and create and you want some people to pop over and take a look at your channel and if they enjoy your art, subscribe, put a thumbs up, have to your name, and then whether people are watching it in live now or whether they pop back after to have a little look at what your, um, your channel is, Pop your name down so that they can go and have a little look and show some support because I think there is more than enough space, people and creative inspiration out there for us all to support each other and share the love. I know that I'm inspired by so many amazing people on YouTube and Facebook. Sorry, bending down here, picking up my bits. Nobody likes the bits to be on the floor. And I am working my way through some resin flowers. I just felt inspired. So this is the second stage. The first stage will be on a video where I show you how I prepare, how I set it up. The live was for four hours after, but maybe it was, I should have made my mixture a little bit earlier because it was slightly tacky for the first one. But now, as the time's gone on, it's a beautiful time to start cutting around this cellophane. You can't cut around it before, unfortunately, otherwise I'd risk not be able to sculpt them. So although it's like watching paint dry, it's like watching resin dry, it's part of the process. And if you want to have a go at making your own freeform resin flowers, give it a go. It's an, uh, I think it's a rewarding 
thing to do. Um, this is one I created a few months ago. So I'm now going to create some for a different area of my home. And these give me so much joy to look at. The bright, the cute, the different. And they just add a lot of, I think, colour to my room. And I'm going to do some more now. And I will do another video showing you how I do the leaves for them. Uh, and finish them up. And I just encourage you to give them a go. Uh, Oh, Wanda, you're lovely. Thank you. Anyway, I want to know, if I was to say or ask you, what is your shameful sin with music, as far as a song that you secretly enjoy, but you'd be a little bit embarrassed to uh, tell people? What is that for you? I would love to know. You would just buy mine. <laughs> Miss Paula. You're amazing. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. He he. Ho 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 ho. Is that the one? <laughs> or are people literally coming to take you away? And I've just related that to a song. <laughs> puppy love. Oh, Donny Osmond. Oh, and they call it puppy love. Excuse my singing. <laughs> oh, you know what? I've got a uh, bit of a silver one in here. I'm going to stick some silver in there. Nothing. I love all music and I'm not afraid to share. I like, I'm very eclectic with my music choice. I'm not ashamed of anything, but I think one that, uh, I don't know if I'd say shame myself now, but a secret indulgent on me would still be the Macarena. It'd still get me on the dance floor, I reckon. And Gangnam Style. You're getting a theme. Anything that'll get you up dancing like a crazy lady. That'd be me. <laughs> They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. Ho ho. Hee hee. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And I can see those nice young men in their clean white coats. And they're coming to take. Yes. <laughs> Which one gets you up dancing every time? Oh, the chicken dance. Is that? Is it that one? <laughs> oh. Sunday hangouts are the best. All right, I'm going to sneak a sneaky little different colour in here. I'm mixing it up. One that makes me sing a lot, if it comes on at any like event or anything, and this is not because I think it's a shameful song, but the B-52's Love Shack. Is it B-52's Love Shack? That's one of those where uh, I'd always go up dancing and I'd always sing as loud as possible. We had uh, my family up this week and we had the um, rock band out. It was so much fun. It's ages since we've done that. And uh, yeah, I took it. We rotated between the drums and the singing and the guitar. And I am absolutely terrible on the guitar. The drumming, I absolutely, I did better than I thought I would do. Singing, I just enjoy singing. I'm not a good singer, but I enjoy singing. But when it comes to anything like that, I, I get my points high. That'll do me. All right, that one's a little bit too much. I'm just going to, sorry, every so often I go quiet when I'm like facing a little bit of challenge when it comes to sculpting. I quite like that, which looks like it's silver in there and then the blue. It's got a nice striking effect and I want one, one petal to come up there. 
it is so much easier having um stuffed in that green thing that I know Paula knows the name of but I don't she tells me and then I forget my brain's like I don't need to remember the name of that oh wait oasis did I remember it Paula did I say it right all right that one just needs a petal coming up the back there I did want to try and create smaller flowers to what I did before and I'm doing that but I quite like that one what do you think of that one I think that contrasts beautifully that little bit of silver or lilac in there I'll look on the wall excuse my chicken wings what's going on ah Oh, I stay away from music, it's uh, too many memories you don't want bringing up, oh bless you. Ah, I hope we're not uh, upsetting you then by singing some of these songs. Oh, anything by Barry Manilow. Love the love shot, brilliant. my gloves stuck in there I think I should use two of these things next time oh, I think I might need a new pair of gloves so yeah I've broke my glove all right let me try just going to make sure this is not going to up tip at any time I don't think it will there we go you're starting to see some of the creations that I've made. I'm trying to make it aesthetically pleasing for you as I'm doing it. So, oh, I just poked myself. <laughs> just missed my eye, people. The eye is okay, though. The eye is okay. Put the excess one down. Oh, come on now. It's because I'm trying to get fancy and put them so you can see them. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. There you go. There's more support there now. Uh, bye, Wanda. Thank you for stopping by. Sharon, have you tried taking the resin and sticking the wire through the centre in, in forming flour that way instead of wrapping the petals around them? I mean, uh, I'd be curious to know what you mean as far as create your flower and then stick it through. Um, no, I haven't, but I'd wonder how I'd, I'd do it because it's still um, semi-tacky. Maybe you need to give me a little bit more explanation as to what you mean. And is it something you've tried before so you know it works? So you're asking me, or... I, I, I think it's a control thing. I think I like to control where my petals are going to go with a stick. Maybe there's something I'm missing, so kindly make me aware of any knowledge you've got on it. I'm only my second real time creating them. So any knowledge is good knowledge. Bear with me while I've got my back to you. Just, it's beautiful to uh, work with now compared to before. <laughs> it's like really, um, like I don't think I could put my finger through it now, whereas before I could leave a finger through. So I can't go in the spa until I've done all this. But I promise the rest of the video to this I will record for you so you can see once these have settled down and stuck and I come and do my leaves, how I evolve my bouquet. Um, so you get to see the full process or I could reveal it next Sunday's live and we could do it as a uh, part of a re reveal there. What do you think? So... One, did you want? 
bye 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 thank you for staying in take one petal at a time instead of the wire through the center format so you mean wrap the petals themselves and then stick by stick through the middle um well my only concern with that would be um is my hole going to be too big enough or small enough or do you think that it'll be that soft that the stick will just go through the resin is that what you're talking about have you tried that before yourself or are you just asking the question uh the weather is something here i'm sorry sharon losing service but oh no no worries wanda you just be safe you well look after yourself and hopefully uh, you are all safe. My colour coming up, yeah. <laughs> I'll take my time with this one because I know that there'll be uh, a very excited uh, lady if we get this purple one into a nice sculpture. Every time I see purple now, I think of Miss Paula. Yorky mum, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Hello, hello, hello! So we still have 37 people here, so thank you so much. Whether you're here just for five minutes or whether you watched the whole way through, greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Uh, that's just a way of helping me with my channel and the algorithm. Uh, but I do want to say a sincere thank you and thank you for supporting my lives. I know they've been a bit random of late um, because families and going up and the week of the 17th, I do have a premiere, but uh, a couple of days either side of that because it's my 50th birthday. I'm going to go up Yorkshire and be with family. Seems though we can't go to Vegas and get married. Boo hoo for the second time. But at least I will be surrounded by family. Because we've missed out on all big birthdays over the last uh, two years. We've missed uh, a 70th birthday for mum and dad. And the 80th birthday for Neil's mum. And my sister's 40th. It'll be my 50th. So there's been a lot of big birthdays that we've missed out on. So we're thinking of just having a nice big meal all together. So even though it'll be my birthday, we're going to celebrate everybody's birthday that we've missed this year because of COVID and lockdowns. Uh, Chrissy Hutchney, take one petal, insert the wire through the resin of the petal and then form that to the wire. Then stick the wire through another petal and form it around the wire. I've done it with a stretch fabric. I don't know. I genuinely don't know if it'd work because the resin still got that ply in it. Whether it would, the hole would get bigger. I'll, I'll, I might give it a go. Maybe not on this particular set, but I might give it a go. What you're saying? Because I'm trying to process, and it's very hard to really digest or process what you're saying. Because when I, like when I'm in the jacuzzi, I'll be like, oh yes, that makes more sense, and that would work easy. But because I'm in the middle of it and doing it live and entertaining you, I, I'm struggling to process it. I think I understand what you're saying. So, like, fold it and weave it through. I just don't know how the resin will respond. I think it might be okay. I think it might need to be a bit more firmer. Or I might end up with saggy holes. But it's definitely something I'm going to try, Christine, and then I'll let you know. I think you're talking about like that and then shove it through the middle but then how am I going to attach another one are you talking about like you've got me curious now I've just got two more to do let's get on with this and then I'll try it another day um uh, I need to send a pre uh, present for me well that's mighty nice oh thank you cat it's gonna be a uh I'm always grateful to have birthdays it's a privilege that so many people 
don't get to have. So I have, each year I'm blessed. I get to experience things, see things, uh, do things um, that so many others would have wished to have had. And, but at the same time, I have a reaction as I'm getting older. It's only since I hit 45, I have a birthday and I cry, but I'm, I'm, I'm crying happy tears because I'm grateful to be alive and to experience it. But I'm also like, I'm not really 50. That's like, that's nearly 100. <laughs> I can't help the body reactions. I really can't. <laughs> oh, does anybody else do that? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm very similar, Kat. I'm, I'm, it's a gift that so many people don't get to grow old, uh, to experience life, to be wiser. It's, uh, it's something that I never take for granted and that I'm always glad of. I still can't ha help having a little adverse reaction, though, with the tea. I think it's more just that I want to carry on, carry on living and that sense of mortality kicks in. <laughs> I want to be Highlander. Who wants to live forever? Sorry for all my singing. <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I've really lost my uh, glove fingernail now, my thumb. I'm all fingers and thumbs. Oh, look at this beautiful purple flower, Paula. It's saying, take me home, Paula, take me home. You can't see it, can you? I've just realized we're at a camera angle. Apologies. Teasing you, Paula, that's what I was doing, teasing you. little lush purple one there beautiful iridescent all right all righty here she's going lingo bingo oh, sticky 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 gloves that's not to the resin now that's to this tape so i might see if this resin is not ticky ticky to touch sticky to touch i might be better off with my gloves off now yeah, there's no there's no tacky this there with the resin now. It's just the masking tape. It's like a, a bugle. Just gonna make sure none of the flowers are touching each other. All right, we're on our final two. Final two flowers, people, you stuck with me. Let's see. Yeah, it's just another number. <laughs> Green again. Happy for every day, yeah, totally. We definitely should count our blessings. Well, hello, Mary. You caught a, a live one. Oh, I love my <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a bit of a mess today. I uh, had a shower this morning and I put it up in flats and it's been that way all day but it saves me having to blow dry it. I like this colour, really love this colour, sorry. And because I'm growing my hair, yes still growing it, it is I think kinder to the hair rather than getting the hair dryer out the whole time. Okay, I nearly said all right, but I said okay. Still a filler word. Still a filler word. All right, let's see who's on here. You like this silver one? Yeah, it is really nice. I reckon that'd be nice for like a wedding bouquet if you did that. I'm going to try and do some mini flowers as well because I think like the sculpture that I did or revealed here yesterday, I'd like to have that as a bowl and then stick the oasis in there Paula is that right the oasis 
and then uh, have some flowers coming out of it. So it is like a unicorn bunch of flowers. I think it'll be lush. I can't believe we're on our own stretch. Phone froze. Did you get the... <laughs> How did the purple... I can't believe your phone froze, Paula. What timing. The purple one's already gone now. Somebody's bought that. I'm joking. I'll reveal it. doing good with that word oh am i saying myself am i repeating myself over and over more than likely let's have a little look morning 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 let me show miss paula the purple one it's, it's a little bit out at the oh is it i think it's pretty Look at that shimmer there. Put it down there. It's lush. Be nice on top of your head, that is a fascinator. Oh, you keep asking, is it the right word though, Juliet? <laughs> once, once I self-doubt myself, that will be a word that I will always self-doubt with. It's bizarre. So if I've got somebody's name and I'm like, like your name's Billy Bob and then they go oh no it no it's not it's so and so and then once I've said Billy Bob in my head I'll be going oh hello Billy Bob Calvin how are you and like once I've self-doubt myself I will always now go is it Oasis is it Oasis Paula Julia I don't know is that for me <laughs> think carefully now what for a fascinator on top of your head? <laughs> Paula, if you would like a bunch of these flowers for yourself, I can make you some in any colour that you would like. Purple, purple, purple. I bet you never thought you'd be able to watch an hour and a half of somebody just cutting. You know what I make the most exciting lives don't I? I really do. It's like where else would you like to spend your Sunday evenings? Well I want to watch Sharon just cut in and see if she cuts inside the lines or outside the lines. But we are nearly there. Very proud of the people that's hung out here with me. <laughs> uh, who's going to be able to make the premiere of me and Cosmic Carol's collaboration on Friday. Let me know. What you gotta try? It's Oasis. Is it Oasis? Is it really to you? Yeah. Oh yeah, Cosmic Carol will be there. There's a, I don't know if you can see that, oh, and you've got the scissors in my eye there, but there's a nice little sparkle. So with these pigments, even though they're a powder, they're transparent, which I actually enjoy, I've added a little bit of glitter to each one of them. Now, in this video, live, I don't think you're going to be able to see, but I'll try and capture it in the video for you when I show you how I finish this set of flowers out. And I'll even show you where I put them on my windowsill. But I have as well this week got myself organised. I've got myself a month by month calendar and I'm starting to write in there uh, for the month of September. I've filled up all of my projects or all of the things I want to try and achieve by each day to see if it's going to make me a little bit more efficient and focused in getting more videos out again. But I am enjoying, I really am enjoying doing the stippling uh, or the dot art and starting creating my Christmas cards. 
uh, I find it so therapeutic and really enjoy that process and it's something I'm going to continue to keep doing and sharing because that's a something to give back for myself because uh, I'm learning how to do it and I'm enjoying it and pushing myself and my channel is always about showing multiple different creative ideas I don't think it'll ever be as popular on my channel as resin is but resin is just one small aspect of my creative outlets but have you tried stippling oh <laughs> cat you can stay you can come and watch another live <laughs> comments like that will always get you lots of points with me <laughs> i'm glad that you do enjoy uh, my channel and i genuinely mean uh, that and i know we have a little bit of fun and banter but you get to see the real sharon and you get to see where it's really like in my creative space i always say i am not the world's best artist i'm not trained in any way i'm self-taught i just enjoy learning so i think i am somebody said it a jill of all trades i don't think i'm a master of any though because i like to keep moving or i'll get bored and i just like to try to take other techniques over into other mediums and see oh, i love the fact that i can really hold my petals now because this is where it should be like you should be able to sculpt without there being any res like residue on your hands so i'm going to continue sharing different things on my channel and i hope that you'll continue to keep coming back and even if what i'm particularly working on even if you don't enjoy that and you're not going to do it but you've had some kind of inspiration then that's my job done that's the whole point of my channel uh, 8.30 UK time for me, that's right. You're welcome, cat. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I really like the look of this one. It's got more open petals. <gasps> Do we have little Lulu here? Oh, now me and little Lulu have a birthday on the same day. Each year, believe it or not. I know, the same birthday. Each year, the same. I was asking uh, little Lulu in one of her messages if she's doing anything because I don't know if it's a big birthday for you but it is my 50th so have you made any jewelry with Jasmineite? No Tia I know that you gave me that recommendation and I went rogue and I, <laughs> but I will do some for you I definitely will but I haven't but I decided to I wanted another bouquet of flowers in my house so I thought I'm going to create myself some forever flowers and this is the first stage i like that one that gets the sharon seal of approval but i think that that's the first one if you have a look how that i mean the color's still pretty and i probably can do some manipulation of it now yeah i can i can manipulate it which is good because it wasn't letting me do much with it when it was too gooey i'm just going to shove it i use the best words don't i I'm just going to shove it down there i'm just going to do that with it i'm just going to see if i can salvage a little bit of um, the first one because it drooped a little bit because it was too tacky whereas the other end you can just manipulate we're on our final one so they are stunning thank you very much appreciate that now i i did think about when i'm doing these how can i evolve them from the first time well it's mainly the stick that i've evolved it with the green stick but i have been thinking about could i add for, for future ones could i add crystals around the edge but then i think there might be two too heavy whereas i do like putting that last little bit of dew drop on there so i'll add a little bit of bling i'll add my green leaves which do make it suddenly pop to turn like flowers and then i'll go on the hunt in the woods for anything that nature's given us on the floor 
and then see if I can spray a little bit of gold because anything with golden bling makes Sharon's world a lot better. But I've also thought about getting, seeing if I can make smaller petals, but I'm just too heavy handed. I put one blob and before you know it, it's twice the size that I wanted it to be. And I have thought about making my own moulds for the right sizes for these. And I've not, I've not, not ruled that out. But there's just something about just working with the shapes that the resin gives you that I think is quite beautiful when it's as organic as it possibly can be. And the fact that the cellophane sticks to the back just gives that nice, I think, nice little bit of shimmer to it. And when the, depending on where you put them in your house, whether it be on a window, whether it be where there's a nice light on it, whether it be the glitter that you added to it, it just adds that nice little bit of sparkle. And you know, I've had water and they don't die. <laughs> so your flowers, if you make them for yourself or for anybody, they are a gift for forever. I am going to be working on evolving the ones that I put in the coasters and I'm going to try, I've got a project in mind based on something that Paula said or did after I'd given her one. So I'm evolving it and hopefully within the next, within September, you should see that. So that's quite exciting for me because I've been out and bought all the stuff ready for it. I've just got to add it to my calendar to get there. So you all do inspire me. I'm just rattling, aren't I? <laughs> Not so bad turning 50. I don't think it is. I'm very glad to be turning 50. I'm going on the treadmill to try and get um, myself feeling as fit as possible. <laughs> Not that it's going to make a lot of difference in two weeks. I'm still losing my weight, slowly but surely. Went on the treadmill for the first time today in New Year's. Uh, and I've got my party dress ready when I go to Mum's. What's Paula said? <laughs> Do you know what? It really is a true statement. I mean... <laughs> This is the reality of, if you want to take on a project like this, it is the reality. You've got to cut around your petals if you want to keep that cellophane for your homemade flowers. This is all the bits I normally edit out of my video. <laughs> Paula, you make me laugh. Well, hello, Mr. John. How are you? I hope wherever you are in the world, you're safe. Uh, I've been in, uh, entertaining everybody by uh, cutting cellophane for the last hour and a half. Um, <laughs> I know how to entertain and, and keep people engrossed in my channel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Long time no speak, I know. I hope that you're well. I hope wherever you are, the weather is kind to you. Uh, there's been a few people on from America that's been talking about the hurricanes and storms, so a little bit worried about that. You're into Sharon's florist uh, zone today. Um, because it's took so long to cut around the cellophane, I started with a soggy mess by the end of it they're almost at the perfect time to sculpt your flowers left any longer i won't be able to do it so john the time is perfect for you and i hope you've been well and i'd love to know what you've been working on hot and muggy oh thank you this is just a holding area while they cure and then i'll add my green leaves to it and embellish them a little bit so There'll be another another stint of this so um <laughs> would you like to see how i follow this up live next sunday which would mean cutting around more green leaves or would you like to see the end result in a video that's my question to you all be honest 
Um, I don't mind either way. It just helps me understand how to plan for next Sunday's live. That's a pretty one. Looks like it belongs in a little vase. All by itself because it's so pretty. Like it's the, uh, the rose from Beauty and the Beast, although it's pink, not red. And then when we add our green leaves it's just going to look even more stunning. Alright, a little pinch together. Last bit of sound. I can't believe, I can't believe you did it people. You stuck with me for nearly two hours cutting cellophane while I make one, two, three, four, four three, six, seven, eight flowers. <laughs> Yay! All right, look at that one. That's my favourite one of the evening. I think, I, I wonder if it's the colour. Let me show you. But I think that one is stunning. Very elegant. The green's really going to make that pop. That's pretty as well. These colours are just lush together. I'm showing it, you can't even see it from that angle. Absolutely stunning. I can't let them touch, but I think the colour scheme is lovely. I'm not too sure if that orange, that red one belongs. So I've just got to keep them not touching each other for a little while and let them set. Ah, is it in camera angle? Even the dodgy first one is still going to look nice because of the colour scheme. Can you imagine these going into, got your blue, and then you're going to have some nice pop of green in between them. There's one more blue. I'm not holding them very well because I need to keep them separate. Just not too sure if this orange one will... Ah! <laughs> Just not Yeah, I'm just going to put these back in here. Luckily, none has been destroyed. But it wouldn't be a Sharon's Live unless there was some disaster, would it? <laughs> That's me getting too uh, confident showing you all the colours. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Whew. They're all okay. No flowers was hurt in the making of this video. They're going to be a beautiful colour combination as a flower uh, and I suppose what I could do next I, I haven't seen what you said um, love them all I think what I might do is do all the leaves and put them on but then maybe arrange them next week with you and put the little bits of bling on there and um, I'll do the green leaves before but you get to see them, they're all waiting, they're all now going to dry like that. None of them's touching each other, none of them's drooping now. They should set okay and they are going to be okay. I've put the flowers down. So I am going to start cleaning up and now have a little hot tub. I'll leave them in my secure drying area. Uh, but we're done. And I just want to say thank you so much. I'm just going to read chat before I disappear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be alive if I didn't have some kind of accidents. Definitely no orange. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the orange is beautiful by itself, but it's actually supposed to be a red. So I thought the red would just go nice in that one. But I think this one is going to have to belong in this one. I think I think it, I think it belongs in this one, and the other end is more of a subtle one. 
so it will still have a home and it is still pretty but I think you've got to have the right colour combination or it'll just yeah not work but have you any butterflies left oh I do I do I've got everything left I've got bling anything you think of I can add it just going to put it safely because I still want to keep him but yeah I'm glad that um all those I think are beautiful anyway I think it's time to say goodbye I've kept you here for an hour and 50 minutes cutting cellophane had a little accident but we're all done uh, but thank you so much remember to join the collaboration with me and Cosmic Carol on the 3rd of September and yeah I just wish you all good night I hope you stay safe and well wherever you are and I'll see you on the next live next Sunday at 8 o'clock again bye thank you all you've been a great support and very entertaining and apologies for my singing so bye bye everybody I've got to go behind camera to switch you off if I can work out how to switch you off bye bye